Good day everyone. This is Rainbow Ortiz Casagudin, a BS biology student from ASCAT. And for today's video I will be going to show you how to perform the ready experiment in relation to spontaneous generation. So let's start. Hypothesis. Rotten meat does not turn into flies. Only flies can make more flies. Observation. There are flies around meat carcasses at the butcher shop. Question. Where do the flies come from? Does rotting meat turn into or produce the flies? Materials used are the following. Three jars. Mashed banana. Beef loaf and gauze. Let us start the experiment. Placed one slice of beef loaf to each jar then put some mashed banana each jar. Kept the first jar open without lids so the meat would be exposed to whatever organism in the surroundings. Then the second jar had gauze placed over it and the last jar were sealed with lids. After several hours and days, flies were seen entering the jars that was without cover then more flies and ants were seen on the meat. In the gauze-covered jar, no flies were seen in the jar, but were observed around and on the gauze, and later a few maggots were seen on the meat. In the sealed jars, no maggots or flies were ever seen on the meat. Conclusions. Only flies can make more flies. In the uncovered jars, flies entered and laid eggs on the meat. Maggots hatched from these eggs and grew into more adult flies. Adult flies laid eggs on the gauze on the gauze-covered jars. These eggs are the maggots from them dropped through the gauze onto the meat. In the sealed jars, no flies, maggots, nor eggs could enter, thus none were seen in those jars. Maggots arose only where flies were able to lay eggs. This experiment disproved the idea of spontaneous generation for larger organisms. So, I hope you learned something from this experiment. Thank you for watching. God bless.